In this video, I want to show you how to export your Scratch Junior projects to your iPad. So what you're going to do is use your screen recording, which you'll see right here that I have this turned on. That's how I'm creating this video. So I'm also able to record my voice. It's not going to be something that you can automatically do. Um, so I'll show you how to do that. In order to create the video where you have a voiceover, you would actually have to hold down your finger onto that recording button and where you'll see where it says microphone on um, or it'll normally be off. So you'd actually have to turn it on so that it will do a voiceover. Now to get this onto your control center, it doesn't come automatically. So I wanna show you how to do that. You're just gonna go over here to your settings and you're gonna to go to control center, which, which is right here. In control center, you've got your screen recording right here. So you just click on that and it's gonna put it into your control center and then you're ready to go. Now, Typically, Scratch Junior, which there's the app right here, is only <clears throat> available to export as through AirDrop or email, but I'm going to show you how students could actually just record. So they would go in, they would do the swipe down feature from the corner, so they would just take their finger and swipe down like that. It would come up to the control center, they'd click on that. A button right here it would do a countdown three two one students could then go into the scratch junior they could click on their project and then they would go to the flag right here and they would click on it I'm going to show you what that looks like so they'll click and as the project is moving they could explain what they did they could retell a story. They could, um, there, if there's voice in the project itself, which you can do in Scratch Junior, the microphone will automatically pick that up. So that's good. And then once you click on, which we could just go and swipe down again, once they click on the stop button, it's going to take that video and put it into the camera roll and then that way, you they can export it into, maybe they put it in Google Classroom, Seesaw, or whatever LMS you're using. Now, if you have older models of iPads, the way you're going to have to have students export is just go here, click on that yellow button, and then it'll either say four parents or four teachers. You're just going to click on it. And I mean, unfortunately, I mean, students can do this. I mean, if they're older, they, they can add. So, um, but if you, if you needed to help them, you could, but they're going to either share by email or share by airdrop. And that's it. That's how you would have students export their um, projects. Hope this is helpful.